Ready, set, officially marks my first day of prenatal care in Dubai. So I'm headed to the hospital and I've never had hospital care really um, a little bit in the first trimester of the babies because I was nervous, but I'm excited because my doctor's from the UK. She's um, a Nigerian woman. She seems really sweet. She specializes in like water births, which is kind of cool because it's like normally all hospitals are super strict like, on like, oh, we just do hospital births. We don't really do natural procedures or natural births. So she specializes in water birth, but she also knows everything else. So as you can see, I'm like smiling because I'm like, oh my God, like this is so cool that I'm here and this is happening. So I'm gonna take you through the day with me. Hopefully get to show you some facilities. I don't know if we're gonna do a, a tour of the room um, or if I'm just gonna get like a regular checkup, but here we go. Hey baby, mm. how do you feel about our first week in Dubai? Very, very happy. Uh, we definitely got to be here for a couple months out of the year. It's just, I feel way more comfortable and happier than we are, more productive, um, believe it or not. I feel like Dubai has like a sense of PR and LA at the same time. It has like the grind of LA, but people are actually doing stuff out here. People are actually making it happen. And, but also has like the safety of Dorado, it's way safer than Dorado, you know, so I kind of get the best of both worlds, whereas Dorado, for me, sometimes I would get too comfortable, so it would be easier to take like a month off, because we already made it, we got our house, and we're in a community with everybody who's made it already, you know, so I've been very, very productive and happy these last days. Good, I'm happy that you're happy, and whoop, how do you feel about our first doctor's appointment? You excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, when I went there last time, um, mm -hmm. it was very, very nice, very, very clean, very, very quiet. Um, the lady was nice, we talked for 15 minutes, she answered all my questions. People at the front desk were extremely nice, like they, like, cause I was the only male in there. <laughs> it, it felt <laughs> weird, but they made me feel real, real comfortable. So no, I'm really, really happy. So you think I'll like it? Yeah, you'll like it for sure. Okay. Just, uh, we just make sure that uh, when we go for real, it's not in traffic or we get a place closer to a week or two above. Yeah, us. can you imagine me having contractions like right, yeah. right in here? It's usually a 25 minute drive from where we are in Dublin okay. traffic, it pushes it to like 40 years out, you know. So we should plan accordingly. Definitely, yeah. Okay, well, let's see. All right, and this is the room for a water burn. Oh, you're fine, so sorry. So we'll labor around here. And this is the pool which is insane. Okay, the shades come up or down, which is nice to know. What is the bean bag for? In case you wanna use it. <laughs> okay, we got a peanut ball, a regular birthing ball. This is a really large tub. Wow, okay. So this is the VIP room for after you give birth. Oh, oh, it's nice. Yes. So you have lots of couches. Very nice. This is where the mommies can come visit. And it looks just like a hotel room, but with a gurney. You have closets, robes. Y'all, this is luxurious, okay? Yeah, this is crazy. Look at this shower. Stop it right now, y'all. This is in a hospital, stop. Oh, so we can have some food. Yeah, there's like a full kitchen, microwave. Swag is sold. Swag doesn't even wanna see the regular room. He's just like, let's just do the VIP one. it's like the complete opposite of what my experience here so far has been like I went to the doctor I didn't record her because I didn't want to like alarm her but she's really fabulous but I went and I asked her like okay you know what do you think 
Do you think I should try the water birth? Do you think I should just do the drugs? And in the US, 99.9% .9 of the time, the doctors are like, girl, take the drugs. Like, I recommend, just take the drugs. And she was like, no, I don't really think you need the drugs. And I was like, huh? <laughs> She's like, no, like, I think you'll be fine. Like, you know, the, the tub is really good for you. We have gas, they have like laughing gas that you can take, which I will be hitting up. And then she's just like, if you can't stand the pain, we can transfer you to the room next door and just do the epidural. But like, no, like I think the water birth will suit you. Can you suck it? Really? It's crazy. Yeah, I don't know, you get the both, you know? Yeah. So, water birth to epidural, which you can. So I think that's like the best of both worlds, I guess. Heck yeah. So anyways, uh, stay tuned, but I would definitely say I'm satisfied with my first visit. She was very sweet. Um, and y'all, she wasn't even wearing hospital clothes. She was full-fledged, decked out, four-inch heels, fabulous. If I can find a picture of her, I'll put it right here. But if I can't, you'll see her eventually. Yeah, so I'm excited. It's just going well. Ooh, I see her current status with my wife. Oh, and say that. My daughter! <laughs> Headed to the pool right now. Uh, little mommy, daddy, and daughter. And son. And son. And he's fine, so keep you guys updated. All right, guys. So today I promised myself that I would get out of the penthouse um, and explore the grounds of the place that we're staying a little bit. And it is absolutely stunning, guys. Like, you're my man, you're my daughter. She's so happy to be in the pool with her daddy. Yeah, girl, you better play. Yeah, I know, this place is stunning. We're like right on the beach. I haven't gone to the beach yet, but there's like restaurants and everything here. This is my house for the next few months. Um, I'm smart. This is how every woman should be bringing her baby into the world. Um, with just like a few months of relaxation, preparation, um, and enjoyment, you know? Yeah, so I'm gonna get in the water now, guys. But I'm just sitting here like, wow. What a blessed experience. Um, but let me tie this hair up, because y'all know a lot of playing games with me in the water. The kicks are getting um, extreme. I didn't feel kicks last time with Alora because she had a placenta that was anterior. But this time, this baby keeps me up all night. He just kicks, he's gonna be so active. The doctor said I have a little boxer inside of me and I do not think he was joking. Like we have an athlete in here, but I'm trying to cherish every moment of this because I know I will not be pregnant ever again. So as much as I'm ready for him to come out, I'm also just soaking in every single kick. All right, it is podcast time. This is my first time shooting over here in Dubai. Swag, I already did the background work and found the cutest podcast set. Like, come on, it's so wholesome, so sweet, very monotone. Um, Oh, look, there's a cute, look. There's a cute little monitor, you can see. Um, yeah, it's really dope. So we're gonna knock some episodes out. And my goal towards like being over here has just been to like narrow my focus because there's a lot of things that run through my mind on a usual, um, but I wanna focus on one, getting this baby out, two, spreading the word. Um, <laughs> So like communicating through my podcast. And then the third thing that I really want to focus on is just slowing my mind down enough to execute things. I'm like, I have tons of ideas, but I find it really hard to execute things. So 
This is me holding myself accountable. This is me, I don't care how pregnant you are, get up and do the work, girl. Um, and I hope you guys are gonna like it. Oh, wow, that looks good. Um, I'm not going to lie, it feels incredibly satisfying um, to know that all the details are coming together, that we're finally here and we're getting settled. I know who my doctor is, I'm getting my birthing plan together, I just ordered a bassinet online so I can finally like do my nesting phase and everything. Allura is loving the environment, there's so many things for her to do. Um, I'm just like smiling like y'all know I've been stressed like I've been so stressed over the past few months but to finally feel like things are coming together especially when you're like this pregnant is so like it's a top tier feeling got your lip gloss girl so come here mama she got her lip gloss down you got your lip gloss yeah so Long story short, thanks for coming on the journey with me, y'all. Um, we have a lot more to cover, but now that we're settled, we can do the fun stuff. We got popsicle pads to, to make, you know, dates to eat, all kinds of stuff. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Love you, baby.